Alright guys, so I'm really frustrated right now because the previous video I made was really good and for whatever reason it's not working right now. I'm recording this again. So this is Jungle Yesal Mechanics. And I didn't get to do Rose of Masteries. I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna tell you what I have as the game as the game loads up and basically I have two damage quints, one life steal quint. Tax B Reds, Armor Seals, Magic Resist Glyphs. And I'm going to teach you guys basically how to jungle Ye Sao. And I had a really good video that just got messed up and I'm a little frustrated because this takes a lot of time to make. I'm like, I'm trying to get this guy out today, by tonight. But here we go. I, so I explain runes. Masters, I have 21 offense, 9 defense. And back. I um sacrificed one point in Warlord and one point in the armor pen to take blade weaving and spell weaving, which amplifies my damage based on my ability use. I feel is very helpful. Could stay in one place. So here's the thing: you want to start Steel Tempest, and since I'm doing a full clear, I'm gonna start at blue. Welcome Top of that, before I get, I'm just gonna explain this: that sweeping blade amplifies its damage each, each cast so if you want to maximize the damage you get on the big enemy honor you want to hit them last with sweeping blade or keep in mind that this takes time and they may get another like auto attack off on you while you're dashing through all the other enemies or if it's no big deal it's actually beneficial for the most part from what i'm seeing 30 seconds until minions spawn <laughs> Make them dig and whatnot. The road to ruin is shorter than you think. But basically, I'm gonna start blue. I'm doing a full clear. I explain runes and masteries, and I start machete, sweeping ward, trinket too. I'm in eight wards, and you see the way this works is you want to line up your lunge to hit as many things as possible. I'm just gonna focus on hitting the two things that are here with that kind, with that angle of lunge. You want to smite right away because that gets you the most per your smite. Don't start. I also want to move around while hitting stuff because this helps build even more focus, which leads to much more shields. You have your dash, be wary of angles that you dash at, and move on to this one. You can see I hit the I hit the little guy with a lunge instead of an auto attack because this enables me to have even more stacks of finding the big wave, which means my knockup will come sooner. Your knockups equal less damage, more damage output. That's a pretty word. Now we're moving on to the little guy and dash him. That's his brother. I actually missed the lunge on the big wolf, which does cost some damage, but it's not like the end of the world. I think I also forgot to dash, but maybe I'm just crazy. But yeah, so that's that. We got those three camps out the way, and now we're moving into the lower part of the jungle. For Wraiths, I want to do the modified version of my dash, which my Steel Tempest, which is everything. To get these little guys out the way, I want to line it up perfectly. And there, I'm going to hit level 3 and get another point into my... Uh, I believe I had my Wind Strike, so I'm going to use that to hit camp early. Get some damage out. Line it up and get a lunge in. I can start my dashes. Smite. And um, basically, I have two pots left, which is pretty, pretty uh, excellent. I have another Tempest, I'm going to use that on that. Take them out the way, watch my dash stacks, make sure I dash before the dash stacks wear off. Be careful not to start step any auto attacks. Bam. Now me personally, I like to take the second point to dash to amplify my damage even more and I completely ignore wind wall or jungle. However, in this video I'm going to 
take wind wall at level five to show you guys something normally i would not recommend this if you're going to take wind wall take it at level four that way you have three points into your uh steel tempest but for this example i'm just going to take it to show you guys something which is pretty interesting i have tempest i could use it early on that guy knock him up do some damage take him out Let's go back before we hit level 5. Honor is in the heart, not the, the Spirit Stone is ideal on him because he does a lot of ability based damage. It amplifies damage dealt to monsters as well as offers him sustain, which he does not have. So I should hit level 5 after uh, this camp. Oh, I'm not level 5. So I'm going to go mid lane and just hit level 5. Just to get the wall and show you guys something. Now I got the wall. I'm going to work my way to race and then I'm going to show you something which... It's kind of interesting. So as you know, the wall blocks projectiles, right? Which, on um, Rafe, it, Rafe, the big white, I should call him the white, it's the white camp. Big guy won't be able to attack me over here. Fair enough, that's what you expect, right? It's obvious, you know, you're blocking projectiles, so he, uh, he, won't, he won't be able to hit you. But if you notice, he wasn't attacking at all. So I was thinking, why would he not attempt to attack and then just have the wall block it? It turns out, for whatever reason, the jungle monsters just cannot hit through it. So I'm going to show you guys on wolves, which is probably the more interesting part. As you can see, when I'm behind the wall, he just chooses not to attack me. He'll run up to the wall, but if I'm aligned right behind it, he just won't attack. And... You can notice this more on golems because wolves move faster so they like move around on the wall and have to move behind the wall and whatnot. But golems, you'll see them, they'll just stand there in front of the wall. So it actually is blocking damage from jungle camps. You look at the big golem, he would just stand there behind the wall. If I get behind, he's just standing there. Which is really interesting. Yeah, that basically is... Jungle Ye Shao mechanics. I just want to show off that neat little trick. Normally, I do not get my uh, wall wind at level five. If I do get it, I get it at level four. However, um, for this example, I just wanted to show you guys that, and that basically wraps up Jungle Ye Shao. So hopefully, this video doesn't have any errors. Thank you for checking it out. This video will be released beforehand on my guy. My guy will be released on Gay Shall Release on lawpro.com. So feel free to check it out. And thanks for uh, watching.